Right, this has arrived all the way from China, a digital wireless backup camera kit. Um, I'm a bit fed up with the fact that I can never see where the back end of the Rover is, especially as it's got a tow bar. And um, I was offered this as a test by the Autovox people, and um, I thought, okay, I'll give it a go. Let me strip open the box and we'll see what you get. Right, we are in. We've got a little car. Um, that's about claiming the warranty, um, user manuals, instructions. Put those safety to one side. Bit of foam. That's presumably the screen that you see. Hello. Some quality cable ties and scotch locks, everyone's favourite. We might not use those. Um, that looks like, what's that, video camera, is that the camera? That's not the camera, I don't think. Could that be the camera? Hmm. Some um, wires variously. One of these annoying... Why are these sticky all of a sudden? I don't like the sticky mounts. And uh, these are particularly flimsy as well, these ones. Ooh. And capable of being dropped on the floor. I don't like these very much. But still, that's what I've got. And um, that is your 12 volt power outlets. I mean, yet another thing battling for um, power in the car. I gave in and read the instructions. And there is the camera. That's quite a big blocky thing, isn't it? I wonder where that's meant to be fitted. This has all the signs of someone actually thinking about this stuff. Uh, that, that's the power adapter that plugs in to power the monitor. And uh, it's got an extra USB slot on it. Um, that's actually really useful. So plugging this in doesn't prevent me doing anything else. Uh, whether it will work in the Rover, which has the fussiest cigarette lighter I've ever encountered, I don't know. And I apologise for the state of my fingers, I've been painting. Um, but there we go. I might actually have a go at this. Um, the instructions don't look too complicated. The Chinglish isn't even all that amusing, really. Um, let's just have a look inside. Uh, you know, it, it's all actually quite good English. I mean, manoeuvring's not spelt right, but can you ever remember how to spell manoeuvre? I'm not sure I can. Um, but I, I like this. Um, if the display is nice and clear when turning the ignition on, but the screen flickers when the, en when the engine is running, then a power filter would be needed to eliminate flickers. Especially for some German cars and Dodge's cars. Specifically Dodge. Hmm. It's not a Dodge. But it is designed to actually go behind the number plate. Um, it claims that the stick-on pad will work. Um, so I'll have to get the number plate off. I guess that could be a pane of rustyscrews.com um, but we'll um, see, I, I want to get the plate off and give it a, a bit of a clean up anyway it would really benefit from some vinyl and trim gel, I think it would clean up the number plate quite nicely uh, right, let's have a play right, I've started work on this and yeah, I think I will give this a clean up the screws are quite rusty but thankfully they are coming out so that's always good So now I'm going to take this panel off and see if I can find a way to get power um, into the boot. I'm hoping there might be a suitable hole somewhere that we can make use of. Let's explore. Right, four of these little fellas and um, hopefully that's the trim now free. Almost feels free. Do we need to sort of springs out for this tailgate? Oh, there we go. There we go. That is the boot trim off. So I need to find a way to get into the car. Um, that's the screw hole, so that's not ideal. I um, wonder if we can use one of these bungs. No, I can't feel anything on the other side of that, so that's probably not going to be ideal. In which case, I might see if I can sneak in um, via one of these lamp holders. Um, or possibly ignore that screw and go through there. I'll give it some thought.
we'll see what I come up with. But yeah, I really do need to sort out this saggy boot. That's not really staying up, is it? Well, there we go. That's the camera fitted and the number plate back in place. So th there's a little plate which goes behind here. It's sticky to stick to the um, backing on here, but it's also sticky on this face, so it sticks to the number plate. So that's nice and secure. Could probably do with a splodge of sealant or something um, where the screw hole is, which probably isn't visible. Um, just to make sure all is well, but um, for now I'm going to stick to wiring So we need to find a 12 volt supply Preferably from the reverse lights so the camera is only activated when the reverse lights kick in. I think it's actually um, Not sure if it's illegal, but it's certainly not advisable to have the camera going all the time so um, Dig the carpet out and um, Yeah, we'll see where we can find the wiring Right, handily I've got a Haynes manual in the boot which tells me that the reverse light um, is a green and black wire so I've identified the green and black wire I've put the reverse lights on and um, if I stick this in that end one I can't film and hold this at the same time yeah, so that's up against the green and black wire, which is the end one in there. And sure enough, we've got very nearly 12 volts going on. And no other lights, I'll just check over this side, are on. So if I go and put the hazards on, for instance. There we go. See what one's going up and down? So that one is clearly the hazard lights. Um, green and blue that seems to be would that make sense green and blue no not at all uh, maybe I can't read these very well but anyway point is I, I found the reverse wire the reverse wire is this great green and black um, which I can trace back up to that one there so that's probably about where I want to make my cut and I think I'm gonna be really lazy and use the dreaded scotch locks so you're all going to cry and I apologise for that so there's the um, result of my hideous bodgery and if I touch that little exposed bit there then we have successfully managed to get power from the green lead to the red lead so I'm just going to tape over that end bit uh, I wanted to leave a bit out precisely for that reason and um, that's that element complete Right, the wiring this end seems pretty simple. Um, there is no power to it because the ignition is off. So if I turn the ignition on... Hmm, there is still no power to it. That might be because this car is rubbish. Maybe it only lights up if you plug a wire in. Let's try doing that. Maybe it doesn't lighter. Um, right, let's do another check. Let's put her in reverse gear and see if anything happens. Aha! There we go. I now have a rear view. Now if I put it back in park, it goes off. Right, I think this calls for an actual test with an actual car. Um, so let's go and do that. Right, I can confirm that my phone is plugged in with this wire, plugged into there, and it is charging. So that does work, despite the lack of a light. Gosh, I need to have a good clear out in this car. But um, anyway, uh, let's have a tidy up and we'll go and test it. There we are, there's our rear view. If I swing round... There is a tuck. So how close can I get? That feels quite close. And uh, the, the, the problem with this car is, the rear view I get, that, that's the mirror's view of what's going on back there. Uh, that, that's, um, focus. Oh, it's struggling with the ridiculous light levels going on there. But yeah, what, what I'm trying to conclude there is that my view backwards, I have no clue at all where that, um, where the car is but um, this 
at least shows me I'm pretty close and um, let's go and see how close oh actually a fair bit of room but you can see oh why does this phone not adjust right shall we try that again this is um, how close I am so you, you wouldn't really want to park an awful lot closer but you can see my issue here is how far the, how far the tow bar sticks out and um, I don't think my camera shows me that but am I able to adjust the angle a bit no nah, not really that's about as down as it goes it'll go up more but not down is what I want nonetheless Ugh. we jump back in yeah I can see that's probably about as close as I want to get so I'm gonna say that's not a bad bit of kit really um, I can still charge my phone and um, so it hasn't stolen that I've got some lovely wood um, that I've been able to stick the camera to so I'm gonna call that a success thought I'd test it on another car other than took uh, that looked quite close how close are we in reality yeah, wouldn't want to be any closer than that. That's definitely friendly terms. So just getting my eye in with the camera really, because um, things always distort a bit on these things. So it looks like I'm practically inside the fox there, but not actually touching. So all all right, there we go. Well, because I'm thorough, what happens at night? Oh yeah, that works quite well. Uh, and that's quite good because my rear window is completely misted up so I can't, that's the hazard lights I can't see anything at the back at the moment well, there we go, those are definitely vehicles that's quite impressive um, so thank you very much to Autovox for sending me this camera, there it is nestled up there and um, yeah that seems to work very well I'll, I'll put a link to the description and uh, there'll probably be a short-term discount code as well if you'd like to order one um, everything will be in the description below including the price and where you can get them etc um, so all it remains for me to say is thank you very much for watching don't forget to subscribe before you go and I shall see you in a future video farewell